This is a tutorial on how to enter yearling weights for your Beefmaster animals using the Breeder Online login. First, you'll start by going to beefmasters.org and clicking on the purebred section. Then you'll go to registration, click on that, and then you'll go to Breeder Online login, and then you'll click on that, and it'll bring up our portal, Breeder Online portal, in a new window where you'll be prompted to enter your username and password. Your password, your temporary password, will be sent to you um, through a request to, made to Donna Henderson. So you can send an email to dhenderson at beefmasters.org in order to request a temporary password. Uh, make sure to include your membership number and she will email you back with your temporary password. You'll use that temporary password to log in. So here you're going to enter your member number and here is where you would put your temporary password. So today we're going to be entering yearling weights for J&T Farms. So I entered their username and password. So once I log in um, and I want to change my temporary password to a pa new password that I'll remember, you can go to Tools and then Change Password. And then that's where you would enter your old temporary password and then create a new one and click Save. Make sure to remember your password so when you log in in the future, you won't have any issues. So now I want to enter yearling weights. I'll go to My Performance and click on My Yearling. And it'll bring up this page where you'll need to type in the year of the calf crop you're working on. So I'm entering yearling weights for 2016 born calves. So I'll click Change and it'll bring up all my 2016 born calves here. And then you'll need to find the one that you want to enter your yearling weight for. So the, there's easy ways to sort through this. Um, you can sort by ID number by clicking here, and it'll put the ID numbers in order, or you can click here, and it'll bring the birth dates in order. Um, so I know that this animal that I'm entering a yearling weight for was born in November of 2016. So I'm gonna go find that animal and that's the 4616. So I found the animal right here and I wanna add the yearling weight. So in order to do, do that, you click edit and it'll bring up this screen where you'll scroll down to the bottom and you'll be able to enter your yearling weight and in information here. So the yearling weight um, that it was weighed on was, the date it was weighed on was January 17th of 2018. And the weight was 832 pounds. And the management code is F. So, if you're not sure what management code to enter, you can refer to our reference code sheet, which is found on our registration page of beefmasters.org. So under registrations, you click on codes, and then you'll click on this link, BBU reference code, and it'll bring up the sheet here. You'll scroll down, and then these are the yearling management codes that you can use, and it, they are required. So these animals were raised on just pasture. Um, there was no feed involved, no supplementation or anything like that. But if in your operation you do supplement and uh, provide feed, then you would select the one that is pertinent to your operation. Basically, our system wants to know how they, the animal became this certain weight. Um, if there was just on pasture or if it was done through feed and a combination of pasture. So that's why we do require management codes for that. So I'll go back to the registration um, performance entry screen. And you can also on this uh, screen add scrotal uh, information if you did uh, gather that for a male animal. 
So once I've entered that, I'll click Save. And then I can see that the yearling weight was added for this particular animal. So I will find the 4616 right here again. And that weight and date was added right here. Now, if for some reason um, you are entering several yearling weight data um, for a particular calf, calf crop, you can go to my yearling list entry, which makes it easier for if you're entering multiple uh, animal yearling weights at one time. So I'm going to be adding a yearling weight to another animal, the animal 5716. So I find this animal on here. And the same thing, I'm going to add the date that it was weighed, January 17th, 2018. And the weight was 914 pounds. And the management code was is F for pasture, no feed. So then if you have the next one, you can enter the date and the weight for this animal here and continue for each animal that pertains to um, your data that you have collected. So you can tab through, and then once you've entered all of that, you can click Save. And that has been updated and completed. And that's how you can simply add weaning weights and yearling weights to your animals um, by a particular calving year.